proxy servers are designed to keep you anonymous on the internet. They can help you access websites that are not available to you because of censorship or other restrictions. Setting up a proxy in your web browser also adds the needed privacy and security when you go online. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to configure proxy settings in your Google Chrome browser. So let's get started. Method 1. Using Chrome Proxy Settings To change the Google Chrome Proxy Settings, first click the three-dot menu icon, then click on Settings, Advanced, System, then click on Open Your Computer's Proxy Settings. This opens the proxy settings in Windows 10. Here you have two options to configure the proxy. If you want to use a setup script, just enter the script address here. It will automatically detect your proxy settings. And if you want to manually specify the proxy server, you have to enter the exact IP address and port of the proxy server here. You can also enter specific website addresses for which, no matter what browser you use, Windows 10 will bypass the proxy server. Click the Save button to apply your proxy settings. Now, to determine whether your proxy server is working or not, visit whatismyipaddress.com in your Chrome browser. You can check its status here. Method 2 using a proxy manager tool. As you've seen, Chrome does not offer any built-in configuration options for setting a proxy server. It just uses your computer's system proxy settings. Changing system proxy settings will affect Google Chrome as well as Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or any other programs that connect to the internet. If you want to configure proxies in the Chrome browser only and do not affect your system proxy settings in any way, I would recommend using the Switchy Omega browser extension. This is a free and open source proxy manager program developed for switching between different proxies in a browser environment. You can download it from the Chrome store. After installation, it will automatically take you to the settings page. If this page doesn't open, add the Switchy Omega icon to your address bar. Then right click on the icon and select Options. Configuring Switchy Omega is very simple. First of all, you need to add a new profile. Enter a name you prefer to identify it later. Select Proxy Profile as the type of profile. In this table, select HTTP under the Protocol column. Type in your endpoint details in Server and Port columns. If you are using IP-based authentication, or public proxy, you can proceed to the next step. And if you're using user-based authentication, or private proxy, click the padlock icon and type in your username and password here. Click Save Changes. You can add the websites to the bypass list, which you don't want the proxy to use. Now click on Apply Changes to create the profile. Your created profile should now appear on the proxy list as you access Switchy Omega through the extension icon. You can repeat the process to create multiple profiles for your proxies. You can have as many profiles as you want without any restrictions. By the way, next to the profile name is a color square. Click on it to select the profile color. You can now switch between multiple proxies quickly and very easily.
One of the most useful features of Switch Omega is that it allows you to set up specific proxies for specific domains. So if you wish to switch proxies based on domain, click on Auto Switch. In this table, enter your domain and select the profile you want to use for the domain. Click on Apply Changes. Now enable the Auto Switch option for the domain. From now on, all the traffic will be routed through your selected proxy server whenever you visit this domain. As you can see, Using this method, you can use different proxies on different tabs in a single browser. Later, you can disable the proxy if you want by selecting the Direct option. Just a quick tip, if you use Chrome in incognito mode, then go to your extensions page and allow Switchy Omega to work in incognito mode. So guys, now you know how to set up a proxy in your Chrome browser. Before you close this video, we'd like to know your reasons for using a proxy. Do you worry about your privacy, or are you trying to access restricted content? Whatever the case, let us know in the comments.